In this video, we meet some of the Guide Dogs team as they explore how Google Gemini Live can be used to assist people with sight loss. The video begins with Tommy, Operations Technology Specialist, speaking to camera as he demonstrates Google Gemini Live features on a smartphone to Peter, who has a vision impairment. So I think what's really exciting, what's happening with technology at the moment, is it's something that's going to be a matter of when and, and not if that we're going to see technologies that can enable spontaneous and, and unplanned journeys. And I think once we reach that stage, the technology is going to level the playing field for people with sight loss, whether that's having increased opportunities around social interactions. Peter walks down the street with his vision rehabilitation specialist. Increased opportunities around employment. So I think it's just a really exciting time where technology is going to provide more equity. Google Gemini Live using the camera mode is, is really exciting. The main thing is, is just the way that you interact with it, just with voice. It's a really accessible form of, of technology and I'm really excited to see how that kind of evolves as we move forward. Peter. I was first diagnosed as partially sighted when I was around 11 or 12 with retinitis pigmentosa. Peter uses Google Gemini Live to identify an image on the wall. I use accessibility technology to level the playing field and help me do things that other people can do. Naomi, vision rehabilitation specialist, speaks to camera. Technology now, I mean, it's just amazing. The Google Gemini Vision, you flash your phone at something and that will then read the barcode or the text on the product or your letter. Peter uses Google Gemini Live to read the content of a sponsor of puppy leaflet aloud. You'll receive regular photos of your puppy throughout your sponsorship, so you'll have a record of your puppy's progress to keep forever. And the next stage is that video um, real-time description of what's happening in your immediate environment. Peter. Uh, my favourite thing about Google Gemini Vision was how consistently accurate it was at di describing my surroundings. I was able to use Google Gemini to identify a guide dog trainer with the guide dog. It was able to identify the breed, the colour, the approximate age. Peter stands in front of a guide dog trainer as Google Gemini Live responds. The dog appears to be a yellow Labrador retriever. It's lying down with its front legs stretched out and its back legs tucked underneath. Um, once Gemini's aware, like I prompted it at the start to say I was a visually impaired user and it remembered that going forward. I asked it to locate a lost guide dog harness. Peter speaks to Google Gemini Live. Gemini. I'm visually impaired. Can you guide me to the guide dog harness lying on the floor? And it was able to find it and guide me to it. To get to the harness, take a few steps to your left. It's on the floor near a desk. It was also great at locating doorways. Peter and Tommy stand in front of a doorway. The doorway appears to be clear now, Pete. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. And telling me whether the door was open or closed, which way it opened and closed, which side the door was on. Naomi. We've had seen description for a while and that blew me away. But now you can actually have a conversation with the AI. That's like having a sighted person with you, uh, walking by your side almost. Peter uses Google Gemini Live to identify a guide dog's charity collection box as Tommy stands next to him. Okay, Pete, directly in front of you, I see a window with a white frame. Below the window, there's a collection box for guide dogs. Naomi speaks to camera as she describes Peter using Google Gemini Live in a florist. We went in the florist today and for me that was the big thing. It was talking about all the flowers. It was identifying the flowers and the colours. Okay, I see the roses. They're a beautiful deep red colour. Are those the ones you were asking about? And um, it's that that I really enjoy. Peter. My hope is that this adaptive technology will let blind and partially sighted users do like fully sighted people do, just things that most people take for granted. Peter and Naomi use wearable technology with a long cane to navigate a car park. Naomi. Technology is there to support and enhance everything. It's just amazing and unbelievable all of the changes that have happened and are about to happen as well. Guide dogs.